Game Collector here with Second Opinion Games. So you spend a fortune trying to upgrade your TurboGrafx-16 system to the Turbo Duo, or Turbo CD, only to find that it is really expensive to collect for. Well, I have your back. Here's an import game that you could get for less than $10 that is completely English friendly. You're welcome. Sweet giant robots, and that's what this game's all about. The TurboGraph was known for its side-scrolling shooters. Well, this is a walking mech that walks to the side and blows stuff up. Doesn't get much better than that. On top of it, the graphics don't look out of place from a Super Nintendo game. They're really clear, and the use of the color red really pops here. The explosions look great as well. Everything is well drawn and is great pixel art even to this day. Oh yeah, this is where this game really shines here people. And that's with the sweet animated cartoons before each section, with some heavy machine gun fire getting you pumped up. Heck, even looking at the game over screen isn't even that boring, and you'll be staring at it quite a bit. At the end of the game, you have another nice cartoon, and also bosses stop to talk to you in battle. If you don't want to pay attention to them while you're shooting them, just pause the game, and they continue to talk throughout the game being paused. Which is kind of weird, but if you actually want to hear the story, that's okay. However, you're probably going to die on these bosses, so you'll hear the story again and again and again, because it's unskippable. But overall, top notch here. Sound and design here is some of the best on the entire TurboGrafx system, and that's definitely saying something. They took full use of the Red Book audio in this game. There's hardly any chip sounds of explosions or anything like that. It's all Red Book audio. The music in the background is blaring guitar, rock, and whatnot. And the explosions are clearly all just sound effect explosions off of the Red Book. It is so great to see them take advantage of the CD processing power so much in this game. It sounds very clear to this day. And it's really a highlight of the entire game. And I just find it great to see CD quality sound coming out of a 16-bit game. It ends up being a little hilarious. Gameplay is kind of interesting because they had very limited buttons to use here. Button 2 fires your guns, and there's no power-ups in the entire game, so it's just basically the same shot you hold down the button the entire time. End of story there. Button 1, however, hit it once to jump. If you double tap it, you can fly. But you won't just touch down the ground on your own, you have to press down to do that. Also, double tapping the opposite direction in which you're standing makes your mech turn around. And if you're facing a direction and you double tap it, he can run. Other than that, the other mechanic here is the time frame. It is relatively tight timing, but that's okay because that way you don't take advantage of the health system. The health does auto-regenerate, but you're really not going to have time to sit around and wait for your health to come back. Instead, you're going to have to play smart and play hard, and hopefully you could end up beating the level before you die, and then start the next mission and die right away so you can get your health back. Infant continues. That's okay with me, because this game is going to be tough. Well, for the five levels it exists. Did I mention this is a Japanese fighting mech game? That means you're going to be fighting lots of robots that love to talk to you, blow them up, and hopefully there's not another boss right behind him. At the end of the game, it's a bit of a boss marathon, the very last level that is, where you fight a returning boss from earlier that, quite frankly, gives you a lot of trouble. And only this time, he goes down like a punk. And then you fight the main boss, and then you fight him again in another way. And just like that, the game's over. It can be finished in roughly 
15 to 30 minutes if you're extremely good. It's really not a hard game, per se. Enough practice, learning the patterns, and you'll get it down. But it's under 10 bucks, completely English friendly, and one must have for your Turbo CD or Turbo Duo. Well, this is the Game Collector or Second Opinion Games. Thanks for watching.